doing? How is it going? How have you been? I have missed you so much. It's been a month. The last time I was here was like 30 days ago. So I feel so lost and I feel like I've been away for such a long time. But I'm so happy to be back. And thank you, thank you so much for checking on me. Thank you so much for asking me where I am, asking me why I'm not doing my videos, for wishing me the best. I was unwell. The cold had taken a toll on me, but I'm glad now my voice is back. I am more energetic and I am ready to do this like never before. So I've missed you so much. Welcome back. I feel like today is like those, we should have like a welcome bash. Yeah, me welcoming you guys and you guys welcoming me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love what I do here. This is like, I felt like a part of me was missing because uh, what I do here really fulfills me. It satisfies me in a way and I really love to do it. If you're new here, my name is Mudoni Mukiri Joroge. I am a mindset coach, a personal development coach. I work with women all over the world to help them in terms of gaining confidence, uh, their self-awareness, in terms of getting into good relationships. Basically, I help them become the best version of themselves. This channel is basically all about emotional and mental wellness. I am a practicing coach. I have my sessions and I have my packages. I will mention about that towards the end of the video. So uh, last week, was it last week or earlier this week? Early this week, I asked a question about the kind of content you want to see on this channel when I get back. And I received a lot of feedback. So that's what I, I'm trying to read here. Uh, yeah, I'm on my phone, so I don't know if, yeah, if you can tell, I, but I'm reading from my phone. So I want to see some of your responses. I asked what, what is it you're struggling with? Uh, what is it that you're struggling most with because I want to be able to cover such topic emotionally and mentally a lot of you responded uh, your struggles someone here said said childhood trauma childhood trauma I think healing the inner child I think probably I have to do a seminar about it but I'll think about doing videos even before the seminar someone said childhood trauma trauma the other one said letting go Another one said, this is Nancy said, trusting again after betrayal. You guys, I'm reading your responses. There are so many. Trusting again after betrayal. I will do that video next week. Maybe you loved someone, you were invested in, in a relationship somewhere, and that person betrayed you and let you down. And now you're finding it hard to open up, to be vulnerable. I will do this video not necessarily trusting the same person, but even trusting other people outside that person. So someone said you should do a video on romantic relationships. Uh, someone says also, give me advice on how I will control my tears. That is emotional maturity. Another person, Lydia, says toxic parents. Anne Wangeshi says... Living an artistic six years relationships. It's draining. Oh, my neighbor is moving things. I don't know what those are. They're making noise. Please bear with me. Uh, betrayal by friends. Oh, I will do another video about healthy friendships versus unhealthy friendships. Some friendships can go really deep. And sometimes when some friendships end, they hurt like a breakup. So I will talk about choosing the right friends and how to know that's the right friendship. Self-acceptance, dealing with toxic mothers, how to deal with a crush. You've seen a hot guy somewhere. You've seen a guy who's your type, but he's not even noticing you. He's not even looking at you. How do you deal with that? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, financial suicidal thoughts. It, there are so many, so many, so many responses I can't finish. But whoever responded, if you responded, I have seen your response and I will sort you. I will meet you half day. I will either do a video or mention a solution to some of the problems you have written to me about. So I want to put that out here in the clear. When you give me feedback, when you say I'm struggling with this modoni or this and this is such a challenge to me, I always find a way to make sure I come here with solutions. So today, um, it's going to be a brief one, but uh, for those who are not Kenyans, you guys know I live in Kenya, East Africa. Uh, I have a lot of followers and subscribers from all over the world, South Africa, Malawi, Uganda, uh, Dubai. Hey, people from the States, from London. So hi, people. I have missed you. So if, you're, um, if you don't live in Kenya, uh, this is for you. That's why I'm explaining this so you can understand where I'm coming from. So in Kenya, we hold national elections every five years to choose the, the, the leaders, the president, the senators, everybody. And last week we had an election, a national election. So we hold elections every five years. The last election was in 2017. The next election will be in 2027. So um, my point is, 
as much as we move forward as a country and uh, from 2017 2022 and wherever we're heading to i want i decided during this time that i was unwell the one month i decided to take that time and reflect on my personal growth dating five years ago 2017 where was i as a as a human being as mudoni so i focused on the five aspects of mental health of my mental health the social aspect the emotional aspect the mental aspect the physical aspect and the spiritual aspect so for example when i look in terms of my relationships where was i in 2017 in 2017 i was in the middle of a toxic relationship a narcissistic relationship i was trying to get out of so comparing where I was I in terms of relationship to where I am at now, gosh, I am so far. I like it's like I jumped from I don't know where. So I decided to take that time to look at where am I financially? Like what kind of steps have I made the last five years? I am now self-employed. I, I went back to school. I learned a skill. I learned the, my coaching business and I am now running a very good business, you guys. And I am here. I have even grown my YouTube channel. When I look at how far I've come, it gives me a perspective, it gives me an idea of where I'm headed. Am I headed in the right direction? Am I doing the right things to get me to where I want to be? A while ago, I told you guys, you need to have an idea of where you want to be five years from now. Financially, relationship-wise, mentally, you know, family-wise, where do you want to be five years or ten years from now? So that you can be able to look at, is what you're doing now in alignment with that five-year goal or 10-year goal yeah so that that's where i was five years from now there is where i am at now and there is where i want to be in the next by the next election or even five years from now or 10 years from now so if you've never done that i did i used to do it i started my healing journey in 2017 2018 around there and i used i had to journal i wrote down what kind of a woman i am like what kind what are my best qualities what kind of a woman i am what i'm looking for in a guy what are my goals financially what are my goals spiritually and talking about spiritually i have re I, I was looking at my progress and i realized that time when i was in those toxic relationships and i was going through my pain and all that i was not able to pray i didn't have a good relationship with god you know but today I'm at a point where no matter what happens in my life, somewhere behind here in my head, I know I'm going to be okay. I know God has my back. I have such a good relationship at this point, spiritually, where when I'm just walking uh, during the day, I'm driving, I'm doing my work, I'm doing my house chores, I'm able to tell God thank you for today. Like I have, I've developed a friendship spiritually with my God. And I think I've made such huge steps. So I want you to do the same thing. I want you to look back where you were five years ago in terms of fr uh, friendships, in terms of relationships, in terms of finances, in terms of mental health, even growth career-wise. Where are you at? If you are not journaling, if you've never journaled, journaling is writing down. Start now. Write down, this is what I want to achieve in the next five, ten years. This is, and this, and this, and this. What will that require from you? Probably it requires a lot of discipline. discipline. Probably, okay. What will that require from you? Probably a lot of self-discipline. Probably a lot of prayers. Probably a lot of, uh, probably you need to go back to school. Probably you need to get out of that relationship you're in with that married man or that toxic thing. You need to to know where you want to go and what that will require from you as in achieving those goals yeah it was so important to me i journaled i have those things yeah and i feel like i've made good steps there are areas where i really need to improve especially when it comes to keeping my promises to myself sometimes i don't meet my deadlines some times i want to do something in that days in three months and i don't even get to do it and i really want to keep my promises to myself and i want to be committed to my own path and my own journey so that is something i really want also to work on in terms of my personality i have really worked on my personality i am not where i want to be in terms of uh, my temperament in terms of how i handled conflict in terms of a lot of things i am not where i used to be i have grown so much and i really like the fact that i can be accountable to myself and that is what I'm asking of you please be accountable to yourself always look at the milestones and and how far you've come sometimes it's easy to look at I don't have this some I could even sit here and say I am not like this I don't have this I don't have this I don't have that but I am blessed so much 
Yeah, when I look at how much I've achieved in my life, it's way more than looking at what is not working. But a lot of a lot of times we focus on what we don't have, on what is going south. How about you also look at your growth, at your journey? So that is what I wanted to 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 post to you today. As we start, like I've taken a break for a month, now we're starting over. Please take a pen and a paper and write down your goals, your aspirations, and the what what you want in your life. They can be different. You probably want to get out of that marriage that you're in. Probably you want to get you would want to get married. Probably you want to start a family. Probably you want to start a side hustle. You want to start a YouTube channel. You want to. You know, you want to maybe do something in your life, you want to go back to school, write it down and look at, at this point in your life, what is it you need to change or what is it you need to continue doing to make you so that you can reach your goal. So I, I've been so excited. I've been so excited about my progress. I've been so excited thinking about my life and reflecting back and even looking at where I want to go moving forward. And I want to pose the same challenge to you guys. Please do that. Be accountable to yourself. You just don't want days to come, days and nights, days and nights, days and nights, and you have nothing even to account for. It's just time moving. The next thing you realize, you're 38, you're 40, you're 28, you're whatever age, but you have nothing to show for maybe your milestones or what you've done with your life, yeah? As much as we are lifeists, as much as life is a surprise, as much as we are having fun, also let's do it responsibly. Also let's have something to show and let's also make ourselves proud let us be let us be proud of ourselves so thank you so much for watching so from monday we are doing content back to back this is just a welcome back video and just about something i've been reflecting i've also thought about how much it's important to celebrate things that we take for granted like good health yeah where you're able to do everything you want other people are not able to other people i was covered in black blankets i was so cold the cold has taken a toll on me and other people are um, are doing whatever they want they're just taking their health for granted i used to see healthy people i used to look at my husband and i'm like oh my god this man is feeling so good he's he's not hurting anywhere and he's not you know he's not going through anything he can do whatever he wants with his life yeah so let's also stop taking things for granted oh god i i, I learned that i learned that lesson for those couple of weeks my packages are still ongoing. I'm taking September intake, you guys, for September intake. My prices have changed. My packages have changed. I actually even have a new package called The Confidence, where it's about self-confidence, career confidence, and body confidence, how you can build your confidence in those areas. So reach out to me, write me an email, give me a call, WhatsApp me on my contacts that I leave down below if you want to hop on to one of my packages or if you want to do a session. So thank you so much, guys. I'm so excited. I'm happy. You can tell I just don't even want to leave uh, yeah, because this is home for me. Bye.